Hello everyone, and welcome back to another speed build. It's nice to be back again with another build here for you. Sorry it took me a bit to get another one going here. I'm pretty busy and kind of just tired, so... Um, but yeah, for today's build, um, this is kind of like a bigger build than what I would usually do, that's why it took me so long. <laughs> Um, but this is like a, I want it kind of like a rustic-y, um, woodland Victorian house, I guess, if that makes sense. And basically I wanted, wanted it to be built like in a forest, kind of like nestled in like trees and like a big wooded area and lots of plants and stuff. So that was kind of the inspiration for that. I initially started building this um, build on a lot in, um, oh, where is it? Windenburg, I think. And then I decided to switch it to um, building it in Granite Falls because that was kind of the environment I wanted the house to be in originally. So I eventually moved it into Granite Falls and I continued building it from there. But I started out in this area, so. Yeah, so, um, this house is, uh, it's actually pretty big. It's, I think, how many bedrooms is it? It's one, two, three. I think it's about four bedrooms. Unfortunately, only one bathroom, so. <laughs> but, uh, I tried to make it like an older style house, you know, not many bathrooms, I guess. I don't know, maybe they had more bathrooms back then, who knows. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, so the downstairs is, um, it's got kind of a cool, like, living room with, like, a platform that you step on, and it's got, like, a nice sitting area and stuff, which you'll see here, but, um, I won't get too far on that. Um, like, the outside and stuff is very rustic and woodsy looking. Um, I find that I kind of gravitate towards like these wood kind of paneling shades like the dark kind of wood and stuff so um I was like scared it was gonna look too much like one of my other builds that I just did but I was like you know what eh. it, it's still pretty unique from this other build that I did which is I think it was the witch cottage that I did because it got some similarities because I used some similar stuff like the same um poles outside and railing and things like that but it's a lot bigger this house than that one so it's still pretty different um but yeah the inside is pretty cool because i used a platform for the living room as i was saying and uh that was a bit of a pain because every time you put platforms in it kind of like deletes the walls and stuff so i had to redo that but um and then i put like some really pretty like wood pillars in and the kitchen's pretty big and spacious as well and then there's a nice little dining room off that uh, living area and the nice thing about this house too is there's lots of like generous patio space <laughs> so you get a little patio on the side here and then a patio on the right side and then another patio on the uh, on the back side that you can't see but there's a door that leads out to it from the dining room which is really nice and you can kind of sit out there with like because I put a little table and chairs out there and plants and stuff and you can sit out there and have your morning coffee you know and then look out into the into the woods and the trees and man that'd be a nice place to be right now <laughs> um but uh yeah this uh this build took me a bit um just because it's just really, like, it's a bigger build. I don't do a lot of bigger builds, and I definitely want to get more into them, so I kind of took my time on it, too, because I just wanted it to look a certain way, and I think I, I think I really, um, I think I succeeded with that, so I got the inspiration from a, um, there's actually a Pinterest photo of a house. It looked nothing like this, though. Like, the shapes were similar, but I took the inspiration from that and then and then created into into my own build. So um, 
I generally don't copy builds so they're identical. I usually just take inspiration and then create them into my own style of, of a build. I think it's just better to do it that way anyways, that way you're not copying someone else's work or whatever, so. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, not much else to report about this build. Um, it's pretty spacious though. Um, the bedrooms upstairs, there's like uh, obviously a master bedroom and then you have another big bedroom off of that. And I also added like a kids or a teenager bedroom if, if that's what you want to use it for. I don't really ever play with kids in The Sims. Like I don't, I feel like if I get too many people going in The Sims it gets overwhelming so <laughs> I only play like one or two Sims at the most but um, yeah so I put like a kids room or teenager room whichever and then the other room is like a, um, it's like an activity room so it's got like a bench where you can craft like um, candles and stuff and then it's got a bunch of decorative items and things like that so it's kind of a room for your sim to you know take up some hobbies and stuff while they're in this beautiful home so and of course there's a bedroom downstairs but it's not really a bedroom it's more of a study so it's got like a big bookcase in it and um, a nice desk that you can sit at with your computer and a nice little chair to sit in to read and stuff so and yeah other than that it's a nice little home I like it I like how it turned out and uh, not much else to report on that <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well and I'm going to be continuing doing some builds. I have a couple more builds that I have to finish up and then I'll be posting them on here. I think I'll be focusing more on bigger builds in the future as well. Obviously time permitting. Um, I've been really busy and stuff. School's over now but now I have other stuff to deal with like looking for a job so or an internship at least. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah. Um much else. <laughs> I wish my life was more exciting, but it's pretty, pretty normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next speed build, and I hope everything goes well for you over the weekend, because I'm technically recording this on a Friday, so yeah, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>